I wonder if we might start with the video and the photographs released onto social media, some of which were, were in Stuart's report there, showing dozens of men, some bound and blindfold, stripped to their underwear, and, and we believe now at least some of that filmed by IDF members. What was the purpose of the exercise that was going on at that point in that part of Gaza? First of all, remember, it's the Middle East and it's warmer here, and, and uh, especially during the day when it's sunny, it, it's uh, to be asked to take off your shirt, it might not be pleasant, but it's not the end of the world. But the, the fact that some of those who were taken in that particular incident have now been released suggests that they were not members of Hamas, and whilst you were entitled Correct. to round people up in that manner, what the IDF is not entitled to do under the Geneva Convention is breach the Third Convention, which you did, didn't you, when you filmed them, uh, in, in those positions. So once again, I, I don't think we're talking about uh, formal material that was released, and we have to look to uh, how the video did... If, if it uh, proves to have been published. filmed by the IDF, that's neither here nor there. Neither is the temperature in the Middle East. I right understand. Now. I understand. But I think that the important thing here is to remember these are military-aged men who were uh, arrested in a, in a combat zone. And as you've reported, people have already been released. We have no intention of keeping innocent people under, in custody. Uh, which, I, which I agree with. And I'm sorry to press you on this point, but... If people have been released because they are not members of Hamas, if this was filmed by the IDF, it is a clear breach of the Geneva Convention, is it not? So once again, we have to look into where the video came from. It's not official video that was released by the State of Israel. If it were filmed by the IDF, as I just said, it would be a breach of the Geneva Convention, would it not? So I'm not, I'm not familiar with that level of, uh, uh, of international law. I know in the past, uh, prisoners of war have been filmed. Often that's good because families can identify people. But I, I, as it is a breach or not, I'll have to check with my legal department.